My name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. I haven't decided on what kind of makeup I want to go with today. As you can see, I haven't even decided on a shirt. This is my pajama shirt. So I think what I'm going to do is play around with some makeup and then let that dictate my outfit for the day. I keep looking at the, well, I've looked at a lot of things in my collection today, but I keep going back to this one. So maybe I'm going to play around with some of the warmer tones. Yeah, we'll see. What I'm going to start with, just because I'm excited to try it, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Single in Baby Cakes, which is a matte baby pink. I bought it yesterday from Ulta with a gift card, and I'm taking that on my dollar store brush. And that's going to be my setting shade. And hopefully this will make the other shadows blend better, because I know I usually have a problem with this palette. So maybe we'll keep an Anastasia theme today. I have no idea why that color excites me so much, because you can barely see it on my skin tone, but whatever. I think I'm going to start with Cabana and kind of see how that goes. I'm going to use my fluffy brush from Wish, and I'm going to go in gently, lightly, built it up. Because like I said, I have trouble blending this palette, so we're just going to go slow. Even though I'm really impatient. Why is this not as bright as I remember it being? This palette confuses me. Probably should have returned this one too. Alright, next I'm taking Monte Carlo and Bahamas. I'm going to mix the two on my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it. And that's probably too much, but I'm just going to go in. I feel like this looks like a look I did already. I'm happy with my makeup today. We can't all be winners. Next, I'm going in with Inheritance, which is the bright gold. And that's, ooh, okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, that's going to go on my inner two thirds. I went too far on the other side, so now I got to make it even. Because when I start putting the other color on top, now it's going to blend and make other colors that I didn't want. Next I'm going into Palermo, which is the shimmery red pink color, and that's going on my outer third. Yeah, see this is more peach now than I wanted. I'm going to go in with the gold again, Inheritance, and just try to blend the two a little bit. I feel like I look like, I don't know, someone out of a circus. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I tried to put some purple in there. Should I try it? Let's try it. Sometimes I feel like my channel is like Blue's Clues. Where do you think Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper went? That's right! <laughs> like, I'm asking you guys questions. It's not like it's a live video. Let's see now. I'm going to go in with my IBY crease brush into... I still never looked up how to pronounce this purple color there but that one and I'm gonna try putting some of that in my crease all that did was make things darker <laughs> that is not what I wanted I was hoping it would be like a brighter purple but it's not I should have returned this palette let's be real I spent 40 two-ish dollars on this guy, this guy, and this guy. <laughs> Don't be like me. I always say on my channel how I'm getting better. And I am. <laughs> so just imagine how much worse I used to be with buying things and being selective. All right, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a five on it. I'm going to go into that purple shade and I don't know. I'm going to go along here, I guess outer third of my lower lash line. I'm trying to make it like connect a little bit. 
I wonder if I should put a little on the outer corner. Probably. Yeah, why not? I'm going to put a little bit on my outer corner. Just a, like a touch. So I don't want to lose the Palermo shade. But I kind of want to make this look more connected. And then I'm just going to put a little more Palermo. And pat it in so I don't lose it. It's a look. Then I'm going to take Inheritance. And that's going to go on the... I don't know. That area. I'm so over this look already. <laughs> Some of you out there, I'm sure, really like this. But, you know, maybe like three of the five of you watching. <laughs> but for me, eh, I'm not happy with this one. I guess the colors aren't bad, like, on their own, but maybe a different formula. I just find this formula very frustrating to me. What I had wanted to do is add, well, see, I bought four eyeshadows yesterday, but obviously that one's not there. That one is Legend. It's like a soft white gold color. That I would have used on my brow bone, but I was just looking at the eyeshadow and I feel like there's rust or mold or something in the pan, so I'm going to have to contact Ulta about that. So I guess in its place, I'm going to use something similar, which means I probably didn't need the other one. <laughs> this video's a train wreck today. <laughs> I'm going to use my dollar store brush and go into Coastal Scents Elven Gold. I mean, the formula is different, but the color is about the same. Anyone else buy things like for the formula, even if you have the color already, like you know, you want like a different formula. Years ago, I never would have understood that concept. But now that I'm definitely more makeup-y than I was then, or rather into more things because, I don't know, really since I was maybe nine or so, I was into makeup, but I didn't know all these like fancy tricks and about like high-end brands and all that. So yeah, it's a look there. Mascara makes everything better, at least somewhat. So that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.